For a time there, when I was doing newsletters for my business colleagues and my business clients, I did a couple articles on the marketing of Jesus. The marketing of Jesus is sort of interesting because it took a tribe of 12 to market Jesus across the land and time and history in which he walked and talked and preached and spoke about God. Interestingly enough, here we are, I don't know, five, eight thousand years later, and we're still talking about Jesus and immorality. So clearly, American people are stupider than shit because we still haven't learned anything appropriately one bit. Our country is going to hell in a handbasket. We've got people who don't regard the law at all, either the law of men or the law of God, and some arrogant preacher somewhere is saying that I don't know God. I beg to differ. Why don't you stand next to me and I'll read you to the ground. The Lord Jesus chooses who he gifts, and he didn't choose you. He might have gifted you, he might have given you talents, he might have given you fruits of the Spirit. But what do you know about reading a total stranger? to the deepest and darkest secrets of his soul. That doesn't come from Satan. That comes from God to people who love God, honor God, worship God, adore God, and submit their lives humbly and sometimes indignantly to God. The liar in you says, I am God. Over me, over you, over everybody I foresee. And the answer is, no, you're not. And when you go back to God in your old age or your young stages, you're going to learn that fucking quick. I don't know that we're really ready to see Heaven's Gate. I don't know that we're really look, ready to look at an angel's face. I don't know that we ever can look at God in any way that makes sense, especially if he's like the situation with Moses and the burning tree. But openly, we have created a problem in America that people no longer worship God. They just sit around all day long and talk about God and their version of God. Well, your version of God is not my version of God, but I guarantee you there's still only one God. You see, I can be a pagan and I can be very careful about what I say in front of pagans, but I probably have pissed enough of them off that they think I'm not pagan. I was qualified by a witch in her shop many times. You worship Odin? Yes, I worship Odin. I'm still learning about this, so don't qualify me in some exam that I'm supposed to know from some fucking tree. In America, I've also studied Kabbalah. I've stud studied her Hermetic Judaism. I've studied a lot of things. I've studied meditation. I've studied skill sets. I've studied a lot of things. But don't you tell me that I can't have a hobby of loving God. Don't you fucking tell me that I don't have skill sets on God. Every fucking child put in front of me that gets a reading from me gets told that God loves them. And it's proven to them through a total, humble, little shitbag, worthless piece of crap like me. Now, how's that for you? Does that make you feel more superior about what you do in this world? Or are you still too busy dishonoring the Lord's house? You're too busy lying, stealing, and cheating me out of the property and the profession that belongs to me.